Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner we have 264U starting as the red Protoss. Upper right hand corner we have Ghostfer starting as the white Protoss. This is going to be on Revolver, which tends to be a little bit more challenging. In my opinion, as a map overall, even in the mirror matchups, because of that natural expansion has is fairly easy to defend, has all those eggs in the way. Sexy going for Proxy in game one. I'm wondering if he's going to try the same in game two. And I think that might be an indicator that he recognizes that Gosefer is the potentially the superior PvP player. Oftentimes that is what players will do when they're like, okay. Sometimes it's a tournament mind game thing where, okay, I'm going to cheese you uh, to try to end up in a stronger position in the match. Actually, I wonder on a four-player map, even PvP, if a 12 Nexus would be a thing to pull off in this uh, in this game over, I don't know. It's kind of a side thought. 12 Nexus, PvP, four-player map on Revolver. Wondering if that's actually a thing that can happen, what the statistical odds on that are. Feels like it would just be extremely risky. Granted, 12 Nexuses happen every once in a while. PvP, usually there's that forge follow-up. I'm almost wondering if it's, and I think we've even seen that on this map. I'm wondering, and as I say that, it looks like Ghostfer might even be setting up for that build. Yeah, he's going to go for a 12 Nexus. Looks like it might get scouted first, though. And I believe, knowing Sexy, he does have that Assimilator behind this, but I assume he's going to play aggressive. And Ghostfer, yeah, going to go ahead and... So this is bad news. So he's planting that Nexus, and this is going to get spotted immediately. Does he cancel it upon getting spotted? Does not cancel it. Zelt warping in. And Ghostfer also not scouting... The correct direction. So several disadvantages. Cybernetic Core warping in. No Zealot yet being produced for Sexy. So he wants to get that Cybernetic Core out first. But this is going to be initial troops for Sexy to go ahead and attack. Is he just going to go... So I would expect a two-gate follow-up from him upon seeing this 12 Nexus. Is he just going to go one gate into Nexus to follow? That shocks me a little bit. Just to give up that economic lead like that. Particularly when you did first scout. Looks like he wants to proxy something. So he's moving up this probe to the 1 o'clock location. So is it just going to be proxy gateways as well? Delaying a little bit on his troop production. A forge and a gateway being produced behind this. I still would have loved to see an initial zealot. To walk into the base to create a bit of havoc. This is kind of a difficult proxy situation as well. Because actually if Gosefer just moves his probe out far enough. He will be able to scout that. There's the first Dragoon being produced. Range upgrading behind this. And I don't see a... So I'm waiting to see if we see a proxy. But right now, Sexy not showing a lot of uh, aggression. Second expansion already mining. First Photon Cannon warping in. And we didn't see a cut in probes. We didn't see really anything uh, as far as potential counter. Instead, it's just going to be a Dragoon blockading. Maybe a Reaver build? Proxy Reaver? That's my assumption at this stage. I wonder if Ghostfer is going to smell that, though, upon seeing this Dragoon blockading the front. But I do kind of like the robotics facility, a potential elevator situation, because the cannons are static defense. You can just fly over the cannons. Ghostfer, yeah, definitely smells this. I think he's looking for the proxies to the north. Here you're going to see that robo dropped, and Ghostfer going to find it. Is he? Uh, there he finds it. So now, this has been scouted. The Zealot's moving out. And that is going to be a quick GG. The Dragoon's trying to flood forward to defend this. I don't even know that they're going to get there in time. Shield battery shield battery being dropped. At the forward location. Maybe to try to keep this alive. Double gateway. In turn. So the Dragoon's... The Dragoon's are going to be able to defend this. But goes for scouting all this. I think he, he's going to have plenty of defense. He just needs to get, you know, a cannon or two in his main. That robotics facility isn't going to get wiped out by that last zealot, though. Shield battery up. I didn't realize that you could... Did, was Can you shield repair buildings? No, okay. It doesn't look like you can shield repair buildings. Goes for could make another dive at that, though. Still sitting on one gateway, grabbing another gateway. Has the cybernetic score up, grabbing a third gateway. Shuttle silent. So it's going to be three gate, 
for Dragoon. Sexy now pressing forward. A little bit of damage. Yeah, I don't think you can. Otherwise, that would have happened already. So I think the answer to that question is no. And Sexy not even dropping a GG. Just frustratedly exiting the match. I believe that was the indicator there. I'm sure he GG'd in chat afterwards. But yeah, nothing going right for him in his first two uh, attempts here. So he's going to be eliminated. Ghostfur is going to advance to the final match. And we'll see who he plays. Yeah, I actually did the loser's bracket first. So we'll see who he plays in between the uh, winner's match play between White and Thebus. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.